here we're kind of looking again, what are our movements, functional movement skills? Okay, we have what we call locomotive skills. That's working dynamic sort of stuff, running, jumping, dodging, skipping. Okay, these are skills that you're probably thinking, okay, I can do all those, no problem at all. Okay, I, I was just down in uh, Florida uh, just the last couple of days, and we, we worked with um, something called Gary Gilchrist uh, Golf Academy down there. And basically, when we first went in there, their, their fitness program was struggling a little bit. They had a lot of golfers that were getting injured, and uh, they weren't reaching their full potential. And we kind of went in, they asked them, my, the, the guy that, that I work with, who's a, one of the leading experts in golf fitness, to go down and kind of have a little look at them training and see if he could identify anything. We found they were doing a lot of the fundamental movement skills wrong. They couldn't skip correctly. They couldn't run properly. Okay, there's certain techniques and ways that we can develop these sort of things that promote the right mechanics, again, which will help you in your development in the golf swing. Okay, so believe it or not, we went down there, we had 16, 17, 18 year old kids learning how to run, learning how to skip. Okay, same with stability skills. Okay, agility, balance, formation. I would say, how's your balance? People are like, yeah, it's, it's great, I can, you know, I can balance. I get them standing one foot with their eyes closed. Four seconds later, they're falling over. Okay. Big key part of that is to have an appropriate, appropriate set of skills to be able to balance without having your eyes open and seeing where you're at, without the arms out to the side, balancing there. It's very key to kind of develop those balance skills. Coordination, speed, again, big, big key factors. That again, when you're thinking about golf, you're probably like, uh, why is this important to my golf game? I'm going to have to run after my ball when I hit it. Why do I need speed? Okay. You think of the speed, agility, balance, they're all very key components in the rotational movements in the golf swing as well. Okay, so it's important that we develop these skills so that we have them. Okay, I'm going to look a little into the science of it, and honestly I'm not going to go deep into the science because I don't want to bore you all. But uh, there's a reason why we need to learn those skills in it, in, as, a, as a junior golfer rather than wait until you know, you're at college, your college coach asks you, you know, let's, let's have a look at your agility. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, why, why have I never worked on this before? So that's kind of the idea with that there. Then we have manipulative, manipulative and object control skills. Okay, throwing, kicking, striking, catching, dribbling. Again, skills that are associated with many sports. Okay, I guess fundamental movements that are important just to kind of be able to put these into practice and certain movements required for that also. Again, I ask people, can you throw a ball? Sure we can. Yeah. You know, play football, I play baseball, throw the ball, tennis, whatever it may be. Yeah, I watch people do it again. I think I'm going to refer back to the guy here because I mean, we have little extra little assessments where we ask people to do certain things like this. They can't do it. They don't have the right band mechanics to, to throw properly. They're not using the right muscles to create the power in their throw. They're not using the right mechanics to, to rotate, to strike the ball. Little things that kind of really, when we put, when we look at the mechanics in the golf swing, if we learn these as a junior, they're really going to help you as you kind of progress through your golf career. Okay. Again, awareness. We think about space awareness and kinesthetic. I can't even pronounce that word. Kinesthetic awareness and the rules of the game. Okay. Very, very important. Again, when we think about how we kind of progress our judgment in golf. Okay. Awareness is a huge part of what we kind of look at in our assessments and big golf fitness. And like I said, as well as the movement skills, there's a lot to do with kind of sports skills. Again, I put this more in terms of where your golf professional, your teacher, we allow them to kind of get more, we want them to have more input in these areas rather than the movement areas. Okay, when we kind of develop junior programs and look at kind of progressing the junior golfer into the college golfer, we, we've got a team where we have fitness professional and golf professional. Okay? Golf, golf professionals will certainly help you with these areas, mainly because I'm certainly no expert in green reading, judging by the number of putts I take in a round. Speed control is exactly the same. Okay, and alignment. These are sort of these are key things that if we learn these things as a junior golfer, I'll tell you, they'll certainly help you throughout your, the rest of your golfing career. If you can develop these skills at a younger age. Okay, again, there's certain things that we can do based on the movement skills that will help with these sports skills. Okay, again, the, the chipping, the full swing, uh, you, can, you can kind of read through those sort of things as well. Uh, they're, they're very, very important 
in judging your strength, force control, distance control, as, as a junior golfer, the first time you can maybe elect the 20 foot, uh, sorry, 20 yard chip, if you don't have distance control, you're not going to get up and down from 20 yards. You've got to learn how to control your power and your golf swing, have that muscular control to be able to do that and control your golf shots. So again, a lot of things that we can look to develop at a junior age. And again, advancing on, again, you look at that when we kind of look at when people have mastered the basic skills, we progress it on a little bit and look at kind of the advanced side of things, okay, throw in football and jab and discus and batting, again, from different types of batting, batting from up here, ground level batting, they're all, they're all kind of the same sort of idea, they're teaching you at the same time as maybe hand that coordination, is they're teaching you rotational movements, okay, movement's important in the golf swing. Very, very important in development. We work a lot with our young golfers, a lot younger than you guys that are here. Um, I'm talking sort of seven, eight, nine year olds, where we're hitting a huge ball with a, with a, 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 a basically a, a hockey stick with a massive big head on the end of it. Again, it's teaching them the mechanics, they're not going to miss the ball. That's not the, the objective of what we're trying to get them to do. The objective is getting them to rotate their body correctly to be able to make the, the right impact, the, the right impact position on the ball. So that's kind of looking at the mechanics of how we would take. And these are again are all very important things to develop as we can go through our junior programs. Again, I said we're going to talk a little size. This is basically all I'm going to pull up here because I don't want to bore you too much. Okay. But this, that kind of gives you a little impression of what happens when you don't develop skills that you learn at a young age. Okay, so you maybe learn how to you know, kick football. Okay? You don't do it for 20 years. The muscles that you use to make that movement. Okay, you forget. One of the big things I see with um, basically uh, the adults come in to see me um, in the clinical sense that body balance performance is they don't know how to use their glute muscles, your buttocks. Okay, I ask them to do certain exercises where you're required to activate your glute muscles to push the hips up in the air, bridging motion. And every single one of them at the beginning, of, I'd probably say 90, between 90 and 95 percent of them, use their hamstring muscles. Okay, hamstrings are meant to you are meant to be used for movement. Okay, if you're using your muscles that are for movement to stabilize you in your golf swing, everything's going to go out of sync. Okay, and therefore, that's where we can see a lot of problems, where we get, start getting more back pains, we start seeing people who are making compensatory movements and it affects their ball, the ball striking, and they'll come and say to me, you know, I have this fade in my golf swing, I don't know what I'm doing with it. I've got my golf instructor, he's trying to work on it. I look at, I look at their movements, I ask them, I put them through a few fundamental tests, and they've forgotten certain very basic movement patterns because they've not used them for so long. So it's important to reinforce and constantly kind of exercise certain movement patterns, exercise, like I say, simple exercise like a bridge where you're activating your glute muscles, will get you firing your, the right muscles, and again, by continually exercising and working on the ball fitness throughout, rather than, like I say, I, I work, I, I didn't spend a lot of time in soccer. We did a lot of soccer specific exercise. I did a lot, spent a lot of time in golf. And very few people do golf specific exercise. So you're not going to get your core muscles working well if you don't train them to work well. Okay? Next up, physical literacy. Okay? FMS, FSS, that's that functional movement and this functional skill. That's what gets you to that physical literacy. Okay? This should happen before growth work. However, if you've not been trained in golf specific sense, Really what it kind of means is that there's optimal training windows, okay? A lot of people, how many people here feel the golf game develop greatly by increasing their strength? How many people do strength training for the golf game? How many people feel they do correct strength, strength training for the golf game? Okay. We're currently at the moment getting certified through Olympic lifting and the correct ways to lift weights because one of the big problems we tend to see with golfers or any sports people is they don't know how to correctly lift weights. Okay, and what that leads to again, we're not using the right muscles and using the right mechanics to bend and lift weights and those sort of things. We're putting excessive strain in the body, we're strengthening the wrong muscles. 